Oh, hi, uh, this is Michael Polarski. You caught me picking hawthorn, English hawthorn. And here we are on October 12th, which is about, you know, peak time here on the uh, northeast edge of the Olympic Peninsula, just below Canada, northwest. So today we're picking these English hawthorns because they're one of the best heart medicines uh, out there. Everybody knows that. Hawthorn for heart. Good for cardiovascular, heart strength, you know, just the whole capillary system benefits from having hawthorn. And you can take it as a dry berry tea, a fresh berry tea. You can make jam out of it or jelly. Hawthorn jelly is a great way to do it. You can make uh, hawthorn mead, hawthorn liqueur, hawthorn wine, all those kinds of things. It is used in tinctures. Uh, it can be ground up in capsules. But uh, I think that tea is one of the best ways, at least um, uh, takes least energy to produce. Um, but jam and syrup, I will have to say hawthorn berry syrup is commonly sold in a lot of natural food stores. So you can buy it as a syrup, as a, and uh, as a jelly, there's many ways to take it. So a food and a medicine. And this uh, tree is one of the most commonly used trees in England and, and probably in Europe in general for hedgerows. Uh, this is a thorny, stiff shrub. It really keeps out grazing animals. So they use this in wide, in thousands and probably millions of miles of hedgerows in Europe have hawthorn uh, in them or a soul or a main component. So um, let's, let's come on down and look at it a, a little closer. Now this is Crataegus monogynus, single seeded hawthorn. And there are hundreds of hawthorns around the world. And there are some that are called May haws, and their whole, the whole berry can be bigger than this cluster. And there's also the Chinese have selected these also for uh, large edible berries. So there's many edible parts of this. This is the common one used in medicine. But all hawthorns uh, can carry the medicinal uh, constituents. So you can also do the, um, the native hawthorns, which I do, as well as these Europeans. But the Europeans are the, you might say, it's interesting, the easiest to sell to the general market because that's what they know. But when it comes to the native hawthorn, the specialty market, the, the, the insiders, the people that really know the good stuff and the people that like their native stuff, then they'll order the native hawthorn. So it's good to have both on your price list when you're an herb company. And right at the moment I'm picking these so that I'm trying to keep all the spurs on the limbs. See, there's still all those leaves there. Uh, the spurs, which is our next year's uh, growing points. So I'll get a flower crop. I can also do this and just pull, it's much quicker and easier to just pull all the berries off and you end up with w losing a lot of the spurs. So if it's your own tree and you want to maximize production, you have to hold the spur on while you pull the berries off. So that way you have next year's crop as well. So that's really an interesting feature. If you own the tree, you'll pick it differently than if you're just trying to get as much as you can as fast as you can. Uh, so this can be done quite sustainably for years and years, even if I strip off the spear the spurs, it will take two or three years for the tree to recover uh, to the sense that it will then set up, set up, you know, has all the spurs for good production again. So uh, I'm, by picking a tree, I'm always reducing its potential a little bit the next year. But as you can see, hawthorn has a lot of potential. It's a very giving tree. It's one of the most sacred trees in the Druid tr tradition and uh, it is held in, vener you know, say held in veneration worldwide for its protective influences for the heart, among other things. So this is a, you might say, a, a witchy plant or a plant that 
is associated with working with the nature world. So there's a lot of mythology out there about Hawthorne and you'll, if you look up magical herbs in Hawthorne, you'll get a lot of references. So at any rate, I invite you all to take Hawthorne because who of us doesn't have a heart or wishes that heart to function better? We all want to have a heart. We want the world to have a heart. And so the more Hawthorne that people consume, the more the better hearts will become. And so thank you, Hawthorne, for bettering our hearts, the hearts of humanity, so that it will share and live sustainably in a good way with you, oh, green, flashy-eyed one. And uh, the quote for the end of the video is, a dagger at every set, a dagger at every flower cluster, a dagger at every single berry cluster. So you, when you pick these, you pick carefully because there's a dagger. Uh, there's many daggers in the pursuit of getting your harvest. Okay, well, anyway, best health to your heart. Bye.